Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, Working with Tornado Web Framework. In this section, we will learn about defining request handlers, mapping URL patterns to request handlers, making HTTP requests to the Tornado API, working with the command line tool, HTTP IE, working with GUI tool, Postman. Now we move on to the video, Defining Request Handlers. In this video, we will learn to create a Hexacopter Handler class and LED Handler class. The main building blocks for a RESTful API in Tornado are subclasses of the web.requesthandler class, that is, the base class for HTTP request handlers in Tornado. We just need to create a subclass of this class and declare the methods for each supported HTTP verb. We have to override the methods to handle HTTP requests, then we have to map the URL patterns to each subclass of web.requesthandler in the web.application instance that represents the Tornado web application. First, we will create a Hexacopter Handler class that we will use to handle requests for the Hexacopter resource. Create a new API.py file within the Tornado01 folder. Now the highlighted lines shows that the new codes are added to the API.py file. The code file for the sample is included in the RESTful Python section 02 folder. The selected import status line of code show all the necessary imports for the classes that we will create and the highlighted code declares the Hexacopter Handler class in the drone.py file. The Hexacopter Handler class is a subclass of web.requesthandler and declares the two methods that will be called when the HTTP method with the same name arrives as a request on this HTTP handler. The two methods are get and patch. Get method receives the ID of the Hexacopter whose status has to be retrieved in the ID argument. If the received ID doesn't match the value of the Hexacopter ID class attribute, the code calls the self-set status method with status.http404 not found as an argument to set the status code for the response to http404 not found. Otherwise, the code prints a message indicating that it started retrieving the Hexacopter status and calls the drone.hexacopter.get Hexacopter status method with a synchronous execution and saves the result in the hexacopter status variable. Then, the code prints a message indicating it finished retrieving the status and generates a response dictionary with the speed and turned on keys and their values. Finally, the code calls the self set status method with status HTTP 200 OK as an argument to set the status code for the response to HTTP 200 OK and calls the self write method with the response dictionary as an argument. Because response is a dictionary, Tornado automatically writes the chunk as JSON and sets the value of the content type header to application JSON. Patch method receives the ID of the hexacopter that has to be updated or patched in the ID argument. As it happened in the previously explained get method, the code returns as an HTTP404 not found in case the received ID doesn't match the value of the hexacopter ID class attribute. Otherwise, the code calls the escape.json decode method with self request body as an argument to generate Python objects for the JSON string of the requested body and saves the generated dictionary in the request data variable. If the dictionary doesn't include a key named motor speed, the code returns an HTTP 400 bad request status code. In case there is a key, the code prints a message indicating that it started setting the hexacopter's motor speed calls the drone.hexacopter.setMotorSpeed method with a synchronous execution and saves the result in the hexacopter status variable. If the value specified for the motor speed is not valid, a value error exception will be caught and the code will return an HTTP 400 bad request status code and the validation error messages as the response body. Otherwise, the code prints a message indicating it finished setting the motor speed and generates a response dictionary with the speed and turned on keys and their values. Finally, the code calls the self set status method with status.http200 OK as an argument to set the status code for the response to HTTP200 OK and calls the self write method with the response dictionary as an argument. Since response is a dictionary, Tornado automatically writes the chunk as JSON and sets the value of the content type header to application JSON. The class overrides the supported methods class variable with a tuple that indicates the class supports the get and patch methods. This way, in case the handler has requested a method that isn't included in the supported methods tuple, the server will automatically return a 405 method not allowed status code. 
save the file to keep the changes. Now, we will create an LED handler class that we will use to represent the LED resources. Add the class LED handler block of code into api.py file. The LED handler class is a subclass of web.requesthandler. The class overrides the supported methods class variable with a tuple that indicates the class supports the get and patch methods. In addition, the class declares two methods that will be called when the HTTP method with the same name arrives as a request on this HTTP handler. Get method receives the ID of the LED whose status has to be retrieved in the ID argument. If the received ID isn't one of the keys of the drone.leds dictionary, the code calls the self set status method with the status .http404 not found as an argument to set the status code for the response to http404 not found. Otherwise, the code retrieves the value associated with the key, whose value matches the ID in the drone.leds dictionary and saves the retrieved light emitting diode instance in the LED variable. The code prints a message indicating that it started retrieving the LED's brightness level calls the led.getBrightnessLevel method with a synchronous execution and saves the result in the brightness level variable. Then, the code prints a message indicating that it finished retrieving the brightness level and generates a response dictionary with the ID, description, and brightness level keys and their values. Finally, the code calls the selfSetStatus method with the status.http200 OK as an argument to set the status code for the response to http200 OK and calls the self.write method with the response dictionary as an argument. Since response is a dictionary, Tornado automatically writes the chunk as JSON and sets the value of the content hyphen type header to application JSON. Patch method receives the ID of the LED that has to be updated or patched in the ID argument. As happened in the previously explained get method, the code returns an HTTP404 not found in case the received ID doesn't match any of the keys of the drone.leds dictionary. Otherwise, the code calls the escape JSON decode method with self request body as an argument to generate Python objects for the JSON string of the request body and saves the generated dictionary in the request data variable. If the dictionary doesn't include a key named brightness level, the code returns an HTTP 400 bad request status code. In case there is a key, the code prints a message indicating that it started setting the LED's brightness level, including the description for the LED. Calls the LED.setBrightnessLevel method with the synchronous execution. If the value specified for the brightness level is not valid, a value error exception will be caught and the code will return an HTTP 400 bad request status code and the validation error messages as the response body. Otherwise, the code prints a message indicating it finished setting the LED's brightness value and generates a response dictionary with the ID, description, and brightness level keys and their values. Finally, the code calls the self set status method with status.http200 OK as an argument to set the status code for the response to HTTP200 OK and calls the self write method with the response dictionary as an argument. Since response is a dictionary, Tornado automatically writes the chunk as JSON and sets the value of the content type header to application JSON. Now, save the file to keep the changes. Now we will create an altimeter handler class that we will use to represent the altimeter resource. Open the previously created api.py file and add the class altimeter handler block of code. The code file for the sample is included in the RESTful Python section 02 folder. The altimeter handler class is a subclass of web.requesthandler. The class overrides the supported methods class variable with a tuple that indicates the class just supports the get method. In addition, the class declares the get method that will be called when the HTTP method with the same name arrives as a request on this HTTP handler. The get method receives the ID of the altimeter whose altitude has to be retrieved in the ID argument. If the received ID doesn't match the value of the altimeter ID class attribute, the code calls the self set status method with status.http404 not found as an argument to set the status code for the response to http404 not found. Otherwise, the code prints a message indicating that it started retrieving the altimeter's altitude, calls the drone.altimeters.getAltitude method with a synchronous execution, and saves the result in the altitude variable. Then, the code prints a message indicating it finished retrieving the altitude, 
and generates a response dictionary with the altitude key and its value. Finally, the code calls the self-set status method with status.http200 OK as an argument to set the status code for the response to HTTP200 OK and calls the self-write method with the response dictionary as an argument. Since response is a dictionary, Tornado automatically writes the chunk as JSON and sets the value of the content hyphen type header to application JSON. Make sure you save the file. Now we will see the table which shows the method of our previously created HTTP handler classes. Get hexacopter hexacopter handler dot get. Patch hexacopter hexacopter handler dot patch. Get LED LED handler dot get. Patch LED LED handler dot patch. Get altimeter altimeter handler dot get. If the request results in the invocation of an HTTP handler class with an unsupported HTTP method, Tornado will return a response with the HTTP 405 method not allowed status code. 